A study team has discovered that gravity may transform into light, but only under specific conditions where space-time behaves correctly. Normally, you cannot create something out of nothing. The transition of massless particles into large ones is typically prohibited by the standard model of particle physics, the dominant hypothesis that describes the subatomic menagerie of particles. Welcome back to my channel. The study is ongoing as we speak and I will try to follow. The thing that gravity can produce light, under certain circumstances is mind-blowing. Although the studies say that this phenomena would have happened in the very early universe, imagine the implications of this discovery if physicists will be able to replicate it in the laboratory. The massless carrier of light, the photon, cannot ordinarily transform into other particles, but particles in the standard model are constantly transforming into one another through numerous reactions and processes. It is feasible if the circumstances are ideal, for instance, when a photon meets with a heavy atom, it can spontaneously break off to produce two enormous particles, an electron and a positron. In general relativity, which describes how space-time bends and warps affect particle motion, we typically conceive of gravity. It would be exceedingly challenging to comprehend how gravity might produce particles in that scenario. But using a quantum perspective, we can imagine that the gravitational force is transmitted by innumerable tiny, invisible particles known as gravitons. We do not know that these gravitons would act like any other fundamental particle. Our understanding of quantum gravity is far from comprehensive. The researchers looked at the circumstances in the very early universe to evaluate this theory. Our universe was also small, hot, and dense when it was very young. All types of matter and energy were amplified to unfathomable scales in that young universe, far beyond what even our most potent particle colliders can accomplish today. The scientists discovered that gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time caused by collisions of the most massive cosmic objects, are crucial in this scenario. Gravitational waves are typically so feeble that they can barely move an atom more than the width of its own nucleus. However, the waves in the early cosmos may have been substantially stronger, which may have had a significant impact on everything else. Amplification of those initial waves would have occurred as they sloshed back and forth. Any other object in the cosmos would have become entangled in the wave's push and pull, creating a resonance effect. The gravitational waves would have functioned as a pump, repeatedly pushing matter into tight clumps, much like a child timing the pumping of their legs to raise a swing higher and higher. The electromagnetic field may be impacted by gravitational waves as well. The waves don't just interact with large objects because they are ripples in space-time itself. The wave's continued pumping can cause the universe's radiation to reach incredibly high energies, resulting in the spontaneous emergence of photons, gravity producing light itself. The researchers discovered that this procedure is generally quite ineffective. The typical gravitational wave patterns would not have persisted for very long because the early cosmos was also expanding. The team discovered that the waves might have persisted long enough to really start things moving producing floods of extra photons, if the early universe contained enough matter to slow down light speed, much as how light moves more slowly through a medium like air or water. An oscillator with a regularly fluctuating contribution to the mass will be exponentially excited if the frequency of the oscillator lies in particular resonance bands given by the frequency of the fluctuation of the mass, which is a well-known effect in classical mechanics. We speak of narrow band resonance when the amplitude of the variable part of the mass is modest in comparison to the size of the time-independent part, and broad resonance when it is great. All matter fields equations of motion exhibit fluctuating terms as a result of gravitational waves. It follows that instabilities caused by gravitational waves are likely to occur in the case of fields of massless matter, such as the photon. The energy of the gravitational waves will then be depleted by these instabilities. The photon is the only massless field in the standard model. In the absence of a gravitational wave, the parametric resonance instability of the photon field only occurs in the second resonance band, making it very ineffective. On the other hand, the instability occurs in the first resonance band in a medium where the speed of electromagnetic field fluctuations is smaller than unity, unit equal to the speed of light in vacuum, 
and is therefore significantly more efficient. Scientists hypothesize that this should be the decay rate of a packet of gravitational waves passing through a medium. The early universe's complex, tangled physics, which was capable of feats never before seen, is still not entirely understood by physicists. The possibility that gravity can produce light is one more thread that this new study adds to the intricate tapestry. Working out the full ramifications of this unexpected process could result in new breakthroughs in our knowledge of the early moments of the cosmos. This radiation would presumably go on to affect the genesis of matter and the history of the universe. This is it for now, we need to wait to see where this research is going, for the moment the theory is still in developing. Thank you for watching.